Welcome back, everyone. My name is Tony Lau. Welcome to the channel, Neighborhood Feng Shui Guy. Since it's a new year, I got a lot of questions about Feng Shui decoration. Right, this item can be used, or this item cannot, so on and so on. So let's go through some of these items that I commonly get asked by clients, viewers, friends, and family, and just somebody random down the street. We we'll talk about what each of these items are, when to use it, and how to use it, and when you shouldn't be using it. What you should be avoiding any taboos with it. We do our best to cover everything about the item. If you have additional questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll answer them. First, we got Bagua Mirror. The Bagua Mirror should be one of the most widely recognized feng shui items, especially for Asians. Many people think that using Bagua Mirror must be for fighting method. In fact, it's not entirely true. There are certain rules for using Bagua Mirror. In Feng Shui, when we talk about the post heaven Bagua, is used because of the pre heaven essence. But the post heaven application is only used when the mirror is set for the pre heaven Bagua. So the function of the Bagua mirror include blocking walk shaped objects, such as like an iron wall or like an antenna, satellite dish that have like a walk shape, roves, sharp corner. The free shot, also known as a triple curse, evil shaped mountain formations, so like sharp rocks and such, any kind of natural formation that are harming you, or other like man made feng shui objects that are intend to cause harm, like the dark feng shui category. When these situations occur around your home, you can try to use a bagua mirror to block these kind of negative energy or sha. However, in choosing a mirror, there's always something you gotta pay attention to. The Bagua mirror used to block shots and negative energy must be a convex mirror. Many people think that any mirror will reflect, but that's not the case. In Feng Shui, flat and concave mirror will borrow from the external object, meaning they will absorb the energy. Whatever they're ejecting, they will absorb it, positive or negative. So be careful there. While convex mirror, the one that like kind of curves outward, they reflect the external energy. So this is a good way to push out the negative energy so you don't absorb them into your home. Generally, when we talk about Bagua mirror, we always assume it's gonna be a convex mirror. So be very careful when you talk about mirrors in feng shui objects because it can have an opposite intended effect if you choose the wrong one. Next, we have this creature called Pisho. You might remember this name or the creature from this movie about eight years ago called The Great Wall by Matt Damon, where he goes to China and fights these creatures and everyone somehow speaks English. Those creatures. They also put the creature on these bracelets as well. Now it's believed the pea shell is a creature without an excretory system. So after it consumes everything, all the waves is excluded through like sweat, resulting in internalization of the resource. Therefore, it's best utilized for well accumulation. However, it's crucial to know that placing a piso to attract wealth should be done in open space or windows, not to work someone else's residence, because that could affect that other person you're pointing toward. So piso is a great item to use if you're surrounded by nature, not when you're surrounded by people or neighbors that are really close to you. Using it could negatively accumulate karma for yourself, which could be a bad thing over the long run. I also mentioned a long time ago that don't use these bracelets if you're born in the fall and winter season, because they'll actually make you lose money than accumulate money born in those seasons due to the black and gold color. So next we have salt water, also known as the unrun water. Typically, we use this set when we encounter the yellow star number five and the black star number two during our annual feng shui set. It's very similar to the copper coin set that I recommend to everyone, except this is a lot more complicated. So in order to create this set, you just fill a glass bowl or water bottle, or glass jar with large amount of salt, and then just add a small bit of water inside. Then you place six copper coins inside forms what we call unrun water. Now what this does is that copper coin undergo oxidation through the salt and water will emit like an oxidized odor that can neutralize harmful energy. 
However, the major issue of Anurvara is the seal nature. A lot of master would recommend sealing it with wax paper and then put a bell inside to increase the metal energy while preventing the odor from making your house smell funny. But that is also the problem with this set. When you seal it, the odor does not dissipate. It won't be able to neutralize the yellow star number five and the black star number two, the negative effect from these two stars. And for these reasons, I don't recommend iron rudder. It's advisable to use metal object that can produce sound like a music box or just putting coin in a certain formation. If you currently have some iron water recommended by some other people and it's not effective in minimizing these disease and negative energy, try opening the seal up. Let it free or use another set like the copper coin set or music box. These are more effective in trying to achieve that desired effect on removing the negative energy from sickness and disease. Since it is the year dragon, dragon decoration is popular again. A lot of feng shui stores now carry dragon shaped decoration for sale this year. Now these decorations are typically made of copper or porcelain that are designed to serve a particular purpose. Water collection, symbolizing wealth accumulation as water represents prosperity. However, it's important to consider the placement of these dragon decorations. If your window faces a body of water, like you live by the ocean, then the dragon's mouth should face water. Conversely, if there's no water outside window, for example, I live in Utah, in the mountain, there's no water next to my house or anywhere within 100 miles. Now, when facing the road, the dragon's mouth should point toward the direction of the reverse water flow, meaning when the water flows downstream, you want to face that way, indicating where the water flows downward the road. So you can measure that by the direction of the traffic flow on your side of the home. Now in feng shui, the term reverse water flow refer to the spot where the dragon's mouth is positioning to absorb the energy from the flowing water. On the contrary, if the water flows toward your home, it can deplete the energy from within, which is why the dragon's mouth should face the road where the water flows downward. This is particularly important if you live near a busy street where you got a lot of traffic there, just washing away your well. Now, dragons are not typically used to wall off negative energy. Their prime function is to attract well. To wall off negative energy, you should be using other fierce creatures such as a lion, food dog, or chillin. These are more suitable to fight the battle that you need to fight. Now, in Asian culture, it's believed that dragons reside in the depth of the sea. It can release and absorb water. And water represents wealth in feng shui. Dragon are often used to collect water, including the hidden water from a distance. Now, what I mean by hidden water is that dragons are able to fly. They do not need water or roll in the direction they're facing. Instead, they can absorb energy from empty spaces, which has a gathering effect. This ability to gather energy allows for its accumulation, which naturally leads to accumulation of wealth. Thus, it's not uncommon for people seeking feng shui advices to place a pair of copper dragon at the entrance to attract wealth, serving the same purposes. While placing dragons at the door or window is effective, its optimal position is point toward open spaces. If you have to place at the entrance, the dragon should not face other residents' home, but rather toward like a set of stairs since this position will greatly enhance the energy collection effect. Facing other residents' home will result in the dragon collecting the residents' energy, resulting in harming others and then collecting negative karma for yourself. Therefore, it is advisable to place them near a window toward a spacious area for the most effective energy collection. Additionally, you can also use a drawn dragon, like a drawing, a paper dragon bowl, or a copper dragon, they can all achieve the same effect. So you don't need to go out and buy an expensive dragon decoration. You can just draw one or get a paper one. They do the exact same thing with the same effect. And that's it for today. If you have questions about other feng shui objects or decorations, don't know what to do with them, comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them. If there's enough demand for it, I might do a part two of this video. 
Thank you for joining us today in this journey of discovery and transformation. May your path be guided by harmony, balance, and abundance. I'll see you next time. Thank you.